Hi Ross. This has sort of been a work in progress. We're trying to create a space in Ross's room, which is a little bit cluttered, mate, I've got to say. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a mess. Um, so, so that he can get some nice lighting on him while he's playing the guitar and make his guitar videos a little bit more clean and polished and just have somewhere where he can sit and, and create his videos. Um, Planet Nine music, isn't it, mate? I will link his channel in the description of this video. So I've got the lighting here and um, Ellen Crom, of course, the best lighting of all lighting. Right, so this is the space that we're working with, okay? Ready? I've had bigger challenges. <laughs> So the future goal is to have the whole of this end wall, yeah Ross? Yeah. We've got enough space for the width of your guitar and your elbows and things, I reckon. <laughs> so Perfect. let's get to work. That's all we need. That's all we need, mate. Ross, I can see how this is going to go. You're going to sit there playing guitar, I'm going to get excited and watch. We're going to get no work done. <laughs> oh, you've still got this. Yeah, you're right. You've still got this photo that I took. I did that at school, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I think you did actually. Okay. Oh, we've got the black backdrop. This is going to be amazing. So the next few clips coming up in a moment are just to show you some things just really attention to detail, just thinking about bright colours that could be distracting, um, clothing, just watch as well when I move the light round, how it brings the light off of the backdrop. <laughs> oh, it's bright yellow. <laughs> I mean, um, it might be a bit distracting. I just want this light there. Hmm? Like, one day, mate, we're going to have a studio, man. Ideally, we would have my strip light soft boxes. It would be so much better for this. But we can always cover up. There's always ways of covering up two of the sides to make a strip light. Just one little thing. Hmm where you're wearing black against the black. Should I change? I, yeah, I think change. Blue and red, the red guitar against the blue top maybe. Nothing too bright. Like tonally, maybe a similar tone to your facial skin colour. So it's nice and evenly lit, if you get me. You don't want anything white and too bouncy. I'm gonna go to Ross's wardrobe. Yeah, it's nice. Got to change your clothes. I can be his stylist and his photographer. Black on black's good if you've got more lighting and you can do some backlighting as well. I am a little bit fussy about light getting on the backdrop. As you can see, I just move it all around, especially if the backdrop's creased. But actually, in the end, some of the video did have some light on there and it actually looked okay. There's absolutely nothing on the backdrop, look, it's just, yeah. it's just it's pure just black. black. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So, as you can see here, oh, look at it. Wow. It's some lovely, lovely light going on there. Um, so the biggest challenges we had was that we had to shoot this in um, landscape format and we didn't have enough width. Ideally, we needed some more width. I did cover up the light, as you can probably see. I used my top, folded my top around the light and covered up some of the light just to give us a little bit more. So now it gives us a little bit more width. We've got another six inches that we can now width. Really advisable to use a tripod if you're a bit of a headbanger like me. You can also get bleed coming in from the lights. I turned the light up and, it, and I found this and that's, that's 
That often happens in small spaces where the light's close to the subject. The only thing is we've got more bleed now, see? I like the light on you, but... Bleed! Bleed! Ah. But yeah, so this, this whole thing about the positioning of the camera and the angle and getting enough width was quite frustrating. As you can see, I was sort of zooming in to try and lose the light at the side. But then I was chopping Ross's head off. So we ended up coming out slightly. We actually took a different viewpoint in the end that you'll see. But we came out slightly and then Ross is um, quite good at the video editing. So the cropping of the videos. I just wanted to get it right in camera, you know, um, and I, I think if we'd have had a little bit more space to just space Ross out away from the um, amp, but still have the right balance to the shot, because that's the other thing. If you go too far back, the shot isn't balanced and it's not nice compositionally. <laughs> He was trying all sorts to to get in to make it a little bit narrower for me so really playing around with the viewpoint here but not wanting to lose the top of his head and not wanting to lose the bottom of the guitar also the position of ross's knee um, as a guitarist getting comfortable um you know he naturally puts his right knee up but it was covering up the front of the guitar so from a photographic point of view it can look a little bit distracting if you've if you've got somebody's knee coming really close to the lens and it's covering the guitar up so that was another just a little um point of detail to be careful of so in the end i did move the light up just to get it out of shot this is something i wanted to avoid doing ideally because when you move the light up too high you can get dark shadows under the eyes which isn't very flattering um, but we really just wanted to create ourselves a little bit more space uh, on the right hand side there and as you can see when we change the viewpoint in a moment um, it that little bit more space does help in terms of giving you a little bit more space between the subject and the light so there wasn't the issue here with any bleed coming from the light. We had just that little bit more space on the right hand side to play with the composition with the amplifiers in. Uh, we still, still could have done with more backdrop on the left. So as you can see, Ross's arm is kind of, his elbow is on the wall there on the left. But it's definitely more comfortable to get everything situated in the shot once we move the light up. So which do you prefer? Which viewpoint do you prefer here? Do you like it head on like this with the um, with the amplifiers more parallel to the lens? Or did you prefer the, prefer the uh, first viewpoint? Just another thing we were careful about just from past experience photographing Ross and posing him. Um, is that you lose that uh, the truth you know so when he just naturally looked up at the light it was great he, like it made for a, a great shot or you know we were videoing so not a great shot but a great capture I suppose but um, it, it looked brilliant when he just naturally looked up at the light and then I said to him, oh, it's, it's really good when you look at the light. Do you want to do it more? And then when he did it, when I asked him to, for example, here, there was just no truth to it. And you can see that, can't you? You can see the difference of when he just naturally glanced up there and when he was looking up there because I asked him to. And so that's, I think, really something to just be aware of when you're capturing somebody doing something that comes perfectly naturally to them is to know when to interfere, when to like hint to them about their positioning, when to adjust what they're wearing, adjust, you know, 
sort of muck around with the with the creation and when to just step back and let them do their thing. Oh, you're the best at funny faces. Am I allowed to put that on? What's going on, you know? Are you actually recording this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so please tell us what you think. I know what you think of Ross's guitar because, let's face it, he's awesome. What do you think of this little series? Did you enjoy it? Give us some feedback. Actually, if it's bad feedback, don't bother. <laughs>